The method that we use to create a data frame from series is not really that practical because most of the time the data that we have is already present in a file in the form of a spreadsheet. Fortunately, Pandas has a number of functions that can be used to read and write data from spreadsheets in either CSV form or Excel form. So for each of these two forms, there's a read function to read the data into a data frame and another function that can be used to write the data into a data frame. Often these files, CSV or Excel, are on your local file system. In that case, you just put the path in as an argument. However, the functions can also be used by putting a web URL in as an argument. Here is an example of a CSV spreadsheet that's been uploaded to GitHub. I can't just use the CSV of this page directly because this is the web page about the CSV spreadsheet. If I want to access the actual data itself, I have to click on this raw button here. Now I can see the actual text, comma separated, that would be retrieved if I use the URL that's shown in the browser bar now. So if I copy this URL and send it as the argument into the read.csv function, it'll retrieve the CSV file as a data frame and store it under this name. Then I can have pandas display the data frame in a nice pretty version. So let's go ahead and try this. And here I see the data. It's the same data that was present in the spreadsheet that I started with. If I don't want such a complete view of the spreadsheet, I can look at just parts of the spreadsheet by using the head and tail methods. The head method will by default show me the first five rows of the data frame. I can pass in an integer which will show me a different number of rows than five, in this case three. The tail method works similarly except instead of showing me the first five rows in the spreadsheet it will show me the last five and this is often convenient to know what's at the bottom of the spreadsheet. Again, I can insert a different integer if I want a number of rows other than five. The shape attribute will tell me the number of rows and columns that are present in the spreadsheet in the form of a tuple.